Hey everyone, welcome to Sonic Station, and today, today we are going to have a bit of a special video. As you can see, my voice is a bit different, that's because I'm using my real voice, yeah, the one behind Sonic Station, and it's really fun to be actually making this video. If you are watching this at the moment it came out, today we celebrate 3 years of the channel. But the channel wasn't always called Sonic Station. So, how about we speak about a brief story of this channel in a few minutes? If you really want this, then stay tuned for the news. So, this channel started on the 8th December 2017, and I just decided to create a YouTube channel because I was inspired by another YouTuber. It was a Brazilian YouTuber called Vovo Balatensa. He allowed me to take part of some of um, some of his live streams on a call, and I thought that it was a really fine way to interact with people. So I decided to create my own YouTube channel. What could possibly go wrong? So the first name of the channel was not Sonic Station, because it was a it was a channel about me, the person behind Sonic Station. So, I decided to call it Irish.tv. Irish is actually my last name. And .tv, well, it's a TV, you are watching YouTube, so it kind of related. We had a slogan, uh, it was a Portuguese slogan because the channel at first was Portuguese, since Portuguese is my main language. So, the slogan was Ninguém paga e todo mundo vê which translates in English to something like nobody pays, but everyone replays. And yeah, I decided to create this channel on the 8th December 2017, and with time it kind of became of an entertainment for me. As I am a shy person and I don't speak much about the things that I like besides work, it was really fun. And I decided to actually try something a bit different and to make a YouTube channel. I remember the first video was meant to be a live stream and it actually was a big problem. So I ended up uploading my first intro to the channel. And it's not a good one, but it was an honest one. And that's the, that's the best thing that you can do, is being honest at the start of your YouTube channel. Because what I really wanted was to speak with people and to leave a positive impact on their lives while speaking about myself, which I think it's a valid point. And so it was around the 20th December 2017 where I decided to release my first gameplay video. And it was, of course, not about Sonic. It was of another game called Mega Man Powered Up. Because I thought about making a Mega Man channel since Mega Man Maker was actually popular at the time. But it kinda did not work. And why it didn't work? Well, because we don't have much support for those that speak Portuguese. And so it kind of flopped a bit. I remember my videos having only 10 to 20 views, more or less, and I remember not having much support, because, well, it's Portuguese, I maybe had 3 or 4 subscribers, yeah, it wasn't really a good time, but I decided to keep the channel up, I decided to upload other games, just like Digimon World Redigitize, and Naruto Ultimate Ninja Heroes, and there was one day where I remember uploading a video playing Sonic 1 on the Sega Master System. Since I have a Master System 2, it was a really fun video for me to make, and I remember having a really nice feedback, because 2017 was kind of the year of Sonic. We had Sonic Mania and we had Sonic Forces, so people were interested. And I thought about keeping it about Sonic, to be honest. So, I remember one day being at a friend's house, and he was playing on his PlayStation 4 Sonic Mania. And then we noticed that there was an update, that we got it real quick, and we updated to Sonic Mania to kind of uh, Sonic Mania Plus in the state without the DLC. However, there was an exploit that you could do at the time to play the Encore mode 
before everyone else, before DLC even came out. So I did that. I recorded the Encore Mode gameplay and yeah, I just played it, released it on my channel and boom bada boom, we got 25k views, we got a lot of subscribers and the channel just increased a lot. And I wasn't even speaking. So that kind of made me feel happy and made me think, how about I keep the channel as a Sonic only channel? Well, I still kept the same name, because if I really wanted to change up franchise or of theme, I could just do that. But to be honest, I got a lot of subscribers, but it didn't feel real, because I wasn't interacting with people. Of course, I started making live streams and the thing became more real, however, when things were starting to be a bit better, I was around 300-400 subscribers, I remember that Sonic Mania was coming out, and I got the game 2 or 3 days before everyone else, so I had to live stream it. I live streamed it, I got over 3 or 4k views, everything was doing just fine, until my PC died. And I had to stop YouTube, because back in 2017, YouTube was really different and you had to maybe have a PC to have a better channel. So I had to stop, but then I revived my PC, but my audience was gone. After all, most of my audience came for Sonic Mania and Sonic Mania Plus, and that wasn't in the channel anymore, because I just disappeared. I decided to maybe make some content about mobile games, but that didn't didn't work either. So, to be honest, I just felt a bit sad and that the channel wasn't going well. Okay, I celebrated my first year of the channel playing Sonic 1 on the Master System. It was a challenge to try not to die, and it was really fun. But still, people weren't speaking with me, and I wasn't having a huge impact. So I decided to stop the channel. And I decided to maybe keep it that way. Maybe I will never return to YouTube. If we fast forward to 2019, I remember around November, December, getting more interest in YouTube again, because I decided to make a mod for a game. I ended up calling it Sonic Advance Android. And that was the time where I started speaking with many people again, interacting with Discord, and having more fun with it. And I thought about returning, to be honest. And then quarantine appeared, I did not have the best setup, but I had a friend who had a PC, and things went by real quick, and on 28th May 2020, I actually came back. And I had a lot of fun. Back uh, in the day, I thought that the channel wasn't having, wasn't going to have much success, but it actually had. I, I started uploading content, I started meeting new people, I made a, a Discord server, people started joining, and we nowadays have the community that we have. And I'm really happy about that. Because of one person, I met a lot of people that are really important in my life. I met Luigi Brown, I met um, Travis, I met Dweeby, I met Sonic Ring, but actually Sonic Ring is a different story. I will maybe tell it another time, because I met Sonic Ring before being Sonic Station, which is kind of funny. And it was a real a real big change in my life. I I changed idioms, to be honest. I changed from, from Portuguese to English, which is kind of a bad decision, to be honest, because everyone speaks English and it's not my main language, so I really don't know how to manage it. But with some time, with some patience, I actually started having fun making these videos, and we nowadays have the channel that you all know. Of course I miss my Portuguese audience, and nowadays many people from Portugal and Brazil want me to go back to those times. But if at the time I did not influence people's lives, at least nowadays I think that I influence, and that's really nice. Of course, I have a ton of videos that you guys don't know, because I showed myself. And to be honest, I don't really think that was a good practice of me. I'm not a person who, well, 
likes my appearance and the way I look and I don't really think that me as a person has to be the one that influences the channel but rather the theme of the channel. The theme of the channel is Sonic. Okay, it's a video game that we all like. But at the end of the day, the theme of the channel is meeting new people and trying to have a positive impact on their lives. And I think that I'm succeeding. I met so many important important persons in my life. I met Sonic Destiny. I met I met a whole bunch of community with voice acting. I met Creative Araya, Ashradik, and uh, I met so many people that allow me to record exclusive content. I met Sonic Calamity, Sonic Terminal, Sonic Plasma. I met, well, <laughs> I met so many people that I really can't speak about everyone, but I will try to speak about those that are really important to me. Retro Gaming is awesome, Seth, uh, has fan, Sonic Nerd, um, uh, well, so many people. I actually met Nate, my the one who makes the draws for my thumbnails in Sonic Tuesdays, which actually is Brazilian, so we met before, so it doesn't really count. But I met so many people. Blue Tails, I met Super Metal Danny, I met Blue Overdrive, I, I met Crips, I met Chase, I met Sticky, I met so many important people in my life and we had time to share our ideas. And that's how Sonic Station was kind of created. It's not a special story, it is a story about someone who didn't know how to make things about his life, who was having some issues, who had to stop and sometime after decided to return to maybe try to make the best of the situation that we currently live in and it actually worked until now and I really hope that we can work more towards making everyone happy, everyone show themselves and try to make a positive impact in everyone. Of course there are a ton of videos that you can see, I mean you are probably seeing them sometime here or there in the video, I will try to add them sometime. And, well, that's just part of the beauty of the channel. It was a channel about meeting myself and getting to speak more with people and making a better positive impact in their lives. And I think that it's working out, so it's kind of a simple story. I started as a channel with a different name, with a different ideology in my main language, and due to COVID-19 and meeting the right people, I decided to come back as Sonic Station in English. And I decided to make a schedule, and that's basically the channel that we have nowadays. And that's the story that I wanted to talk about with you guys. Of course, there are many videos. The 1K subscriber special, which is actually in Portuguese and really fun, and other things. But for that, just keep your eyes open to the next community post. Maybe it's there. I will put some old videos available for a couple of days. Please don't make fun of them because they are bad. And yeah, you'll know more about the channel. What I want to say is that I hope that you guys enjoy the content. If you enjoy, feel free to leave a like, subscribe, share with your friends. The main idea is growing together with you all and it's making it a really nice journey, which, is, which was the beginning of the channel until now. And I hope that the rest of the journey that we can have together is better than what we had before. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care, guys.